there are my lovely heartbeats it's Monda here so today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a wig for your reborn doll okay so first I am going to show you the supplies that you're going to be needing to create this wig okay you are going to need a um, some sort of a mannequin or a wig stand holder okay so then you're going to need a neck strip or some type of tissue paper, okay? This is going to be used as a protectant. You're going to need a shower cap or a plastic cap. This is going to be a barrier. You're going to need some duckbill clips or banana clips, okay? That's going to help you to separate and to keep things separate. You're going to need some... Um, some nylon um, stocking caps. Not one, but two nylon stocking caps. You're gonna need whatever kind of hair you're gonna be working with. So, whatever kind of hair you're gonna be working with, you're gonna need that. Um, I got more clips for separating. Uh, I have scissors for cutting the hair. I have a comb. And I have some detangler spray. And then I have some um, bonding glue. This is hair weaving bond glue. Okay, so that is what you're going to need to start off your wig. Oh, one more thing, the most important thing. Wait a minute. And the most important thing you're going to need here is your dowel head. Your dowel head that you will be working on. Um, this is real born Darren, but this is not for a real born Darren. This is a wig that I am actually making for one of you guys, one of my lovely heartbeats. So I hope she loves it and you guys will get to see this little wig come to be. Okie dokie. So I'm going to set up and then I will come back and I'll explain everything that I have done so far. So hold on a second, guys. Okay, now once you have all of your supplies and you are ready to begin, this is what your mannequin head should look like all set up. You should have your mannequin stand all set, screwed to something stable that will not move. I can just take this off. And this is what your head should look like, okay? So as you can see, I have my... This is called a neck strip, but it is, it's actually just that it's a neck strip with the barbers put around their necks, um, your neck or your beautician before you get your hair done. So, um, or you can just use a piece of napkin or a piece of paper towel. I wrap that around the base of my neck just as a protectant for whatever, because I do do hair. I do do. I gotta, I am a hairstylist and I do use this <laughs> for, um, hair. And it does, may have uh, hair products or residue on there. So I just have this as a protectant around there, okay? So it doesn't um, get onto my vinyl. And then I have my shower cap. And what I didn't put into my supplies is I have an elastic tie. So, um, and I just use the elastic tie to hold those two in place on the head, okay? Sit that right on there and now we are ready to begin working got that so far okay now i'm gonna take your stocking caps okay take a stocking caps and put them on damn you will have those little bubbles in there don't worry about that you want to put that both stocking caps on okay and now this is what your poor little baby looks like. Something like this, right? Something like this. Okay. Now, you get your hair. Whichever hair you're going to use. I have some curly hair here. And I'm just going to look. Um, oh, they're two different curls. Okay. They are the same color, but they're two different curls. So... I think I'm going to go with this curl, which is the Oprah curl. 
Uh, we're going to go with this curl here. And we're going to see what that looks like. So I'm going to start getting all my hair opened up and then I'll show you.